Drifting eerily, bizarre blobs with ethereal tentacles can be seen on almost every seashore on Earth. These spooky creatures are ancient animals related to coral and sea anemone, the jellyfish. Their ancestors date back almost 500 million years on the evolutionary tree. They are so ancient that jellyfish don't have organs that more recently evolved animals, like humans, might consider indispensable. To begin with, jellyfish don't have a heart or a brain. At this point, you might be wondering how, in the name of Darwin, do these animals manage to not only survive, but thrive in sometimes uninhabitable waters. Although jellyfish might not have the classic layout of a heart pumping blood throughout the body, or the brain being the seat of control, it does have structures that perform the same functions. The brain is commonly called the master controller. It controls most of the body's functions, and without it, we'd just be a blob of disorganized cells. That being said, jellyfish are clearly not just a blob of cells. Although they primarily drift along with ocean currents, they do respond to the world around them. But how do they do this without a brain? Jellyfish might not have a central nervous system, but they do have a nervous system. The neurons of their nervous system are spread throughout the body, like a sort of net, so scientists have cleverly decided to call it a nerve net. This nerve net allows jellyfish to sense its environment and reflexively make changes. Through their nerve nets, they can sense the temperature, salinity of the water, oxygen concentration, gravity, ocean currents, and more. Some jellyfish, like this gorgeous moon jellyfish, take things one step further. They have clusters of neurons located on the edge of their bell, called ropalia. The nerve aggregates within the ropalia help the jellyfish sense light and keep their balance. Amazingly, some jellyfish can even see. Within the ropalia are structures called eye spots. Now, in some jellyfish, they are simply light-detecting structures, but in others, they are like the eyes that can generate 3D images of the world around them, although it may be a little blurry. This allows the box jellyfish, Trepidalia cystophora, for example, to locate its favorite habitat, mangroves. In some jellyfish, all the nerve aggregates in the ropalia are connected through a nerve ring. This nerve ring is the closest a jellyfish can have to a central nervous system. This jellyfish nervous system upgrade allows jellyfish to exhibit behaviors like courtship, which we would normally only expect from animals with a brain. Aside from a brain, jellyfish also lack a heart. One of the heart's main functions is to circulate and distribute oxygen that an animal breathes in, along with circulating nutrients and other chemicals. The blood contains hemoglobin, which carries the super important oxygen, while the heart pumps this blood to all the tissues in the body. The jellyfish, though, doesn't need a heart to meet its oxygen need. The jellyfish's outer layer of cells, called the ectoderm, is so thin that the oxygen dissolved in the water can simply diffuse right through it. What's more, the jellyfish can then store this absorbed oxygen. The jellyfish body is mainly composed of mesoglea, a jelly-like fluid sandwiched between the outer ectoderm and the inner digestive cavity, the endoderm. The mesoglea is how the jellyfish manages to maintain its bell structure in the water. The jellyfish absorbs oxygen through its ectoderm and can store it in the mesoglea. This allows jellyfish to thrive in waters that have extremely low oxygen concentrations. Similarly, the jellyfish doesn't have a complete digestive system, lacking intestines, a liver, a pancreas, and various other critical organs. The food they eat, algae, fish eggs, larvae, small fish, and sometimes even other jellyfish, are ingested through the mouth and end up in the jellyfish stomach, called the gastrovascular cavity. Inside this cavity, certain cells release digestive enzymes and the food is broken down. The layer of cells, the endoderm, is thin, like the ectoderm, allowing nutrients to be directly absorbed into the surrounding cells. Once the nutrients are absorbed, the undigested waste matter is released from the mouth. All of this might make the jellyfish seem like little more than a sack of water made of cells, but they're actually surprisingly complex animals. The rudimentary nerve net and nerve ring seems simple when compared to our large brain, but it's a mystery how jellyfish manage behaviors like courtship without a master controller. The nerve nets of jellyfish and related species is basically nature's first draft of a nervous system. Studying it reveals to us the evolutionary path towards the more complex nervous systems of vertebrates. So, the next time you encounter a jellyfish bobbing up and down in the water, or washed ashore, take a moment to marvel at how something so simple can still be so full of mystery. 
If you like this video, then please leave your comments below and subscribe to our channel for more animated stories on the science in our lives. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us.